crafters this is lynn the gift diva welcome back to my sh channel welcome back to another edition of crack the vault craft the vault uh hosted by poet spice here on the yt each third friday of the month myself and a bunch of other super talented crafters come on to share with you inspirations from our vault, meaning we have chosen things that we have either never opened or used or that are six months old, six months or older. So I am uh, so happy to be in with this group of crafters. They are so talented. So this month I um, am going to share with you a project I made using this deluxe craft pad that's been in my, I don't think it's been quite six months because I bought it back in October maybe I don't know is that six months I don't know um but I was in a period of hunky-dory obsessiveness you have you been with me for a while you know you know the period in which I speak <laughs> and so this was one of the craft pads that I never opened and never used it's the Poppy Wishes Deluxe Craft Pad um it is so very pretty um I've used a lot of this a lot of the things in here but I will flip real quick so you can see, I'm even keeping my scraps because it's so pretty. And I don't normally really keep scraps. Um, but look at that. I mean, just stunning, stunning, <coughs> excuse me, stunning, like high vibrancy, beautiful sentiments. When someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. Uh, I'm so grateful for all you do. I mean, this is a great, there were some birthday sentiments in here. Look at that. That's pretty. And so, um, this is the card stock that you can use to make your cards. I actually use those. As, I cut them down and use them as my cover. So, that is the, the deluxe craft pad, hunky dory craft pad. I wish I had bought two of those because it turned, they turned out really pretty. Then, um, sorry for the crinkling. Let me put all this back in here. All the deliciousness. Then I, this has been in my crap stack a while. A while back, um, last year sometime, cardstock.com had a sale. I always check their sale page because they always have like good sales on things they're clearing out. And they had uh, this. It was a hundred cards and it was super cheap. And in my head, it says clearly right here on the label, blank half fold card, greeting cards. And in my head, I was like, oh, okay, half fold, five by seven. No, 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 no. <laughs> that would be half fold of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So this is it. This is actually eight and a half by uh, five, and, um, five and a half by eight and a quarter, eight and a quarter, something like that. It's a big card. It's a big card. So, yeah, I need to use those. <laughs> I mean, I could cut them down, I guess, to five by seven. But for this project, I went ahead and used them as the, um, as they were intended, as they came to me. And then um, I also pulled out, this is relatively new in my stash, but I just opened it. Um, this card compendium set, new from Anna Griffin. I used some dies out of that because I just love them so much. I had to cut them and see what they look like so I went ahead and use them yeah I'm sorry for this month's project well sorry this is taking longer than I was going to okay there we go so that is what I used so let me show you what I made so I made this card this is the first card I made. And this this card is a bit of a tester because it didn't come out quite the way I wanted. Uh, in the other two cards, I ended up using the whole this whole sheet as the card front because I don't like what I did with the white space there. I was off with the white space. But I like this kind of slanty frame thing I did. Um, and then I remembered I had poppy cabochons in my stash. And so that turned out pretty, really pretty. And this says, hope your day is filled with all the love you bring to everyone around you. Isn't that nice? 
And so on the inside, I used that beautiful frame and then I used some of the paper for the sentiment on the inside to put in on the inside. And then this is another thing I didn't do in the other cards because I realized my error. I went ahead and just put this down in the center, This the inserts, the card insert. And it bubbled a little because I used glue because it was kind of, it's, it's a thin paper. So I probably should have really used a runner tape or something. So that is my first card. Pretty much I'm chalking it up to an experiment. I may or may not give this to anyone. But there's the first one. The next one that turned out a little better. This this beautiful oranges and greens. I added this pretty little butterfly that I got from Allie. And then the two little blings in the center and the little bow from Allie. And this says, you could not be more thoughtful and I could not be more thankful. Isn't that nice? And so um, I'm going to send this to some people who are really good to us during our times here. And then this on the inside this beautiful um frame and then the inside with the insert paper i gotta figure out i need to make some envelopes for that so next when i come back next week i'll figure out how to make envelopes for these big these big cards <laughs> then the last card i made is this one i did it like this um and then i added just a bow and little cabochons and the beautiful it says, you're my favorite. Isn't that pretty? And then on the inside, I just did, again, a scalloped. I left little the things in and then um, just added in the circle so I could tie it right something inside the circle, the oval. So those are my cards for this month's Crack the Vault. Please, in the description box below, you're going to find the other ladies um, involved in this collab. Please go check them out. Show them some crafty love. Some of them will be giving giveaways throughout the year. Um, you know, including myself and then, um, you know, they they just have more inspiration to share with you. So please check them out. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber, you know how much I love you. So be kind, uh, be cool, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.